New row has broken out in Parliament over the decision by NASA allied MPs to boycott both houses. Jubilee MPs are accusing their NASA colleagues of making technical appearances in Parliament only to earn allowances. Parliamentary rules require MPs to attend to house business or lose their seats upon missing eight consecutive sittings. So just how easy will it be for these MPs to get away with their boycott? Rita Tinina takes a closer look. Our MPs will not be party to any parliamentary proceedings or house committees. But it turns out some NASA MPs are not conforming to that parliamentary group resolution and are not only being spotted in the presence of parliament. Because I'm seeing one of the former, you know, PSH uh, member, Honorable Gladys Wanga. You know, she's uh, coming here, she marks her name and she's going out. Yeah. Speaker, that is dishonest. If that register has to be moved to the clerk's desk somewhere here or the uh, somewhere here to make sure that anybody who signs is somebody who is coming to sit here and do the business that brought you to this house. The MPs are perhaps keen to safeguard their seats. Article 103 of the Constitution stipulates the reasons for vacation of office of an MP, among them death, resignation, and absence from eight sittings of the House without permission in writing from the Speaker. Only two MPs have made applications for absence from the House, but for very different reasons. Uh, one of which is uh, unwell. Mr. Speaker, I would also beg that you do direct the office of the clerk to make sure that they make public the attendance of all the members who have attended these four sittings. It's about making the record public. I think it's a, it's a, it's a good one. It also shows that we are doing our affairs uh, in the open. MPs have over the years not necessarily been true to the provision requiring them to attend sittings, but have always gone round it through technical appearances, a strategy dating back to 1992. After Kenneth Matiba lost the presidential election to Daniel Moy, he vowed to stay away from parliament, but cushioned himself against losing his seat. He made this technical appearance famous where on every eighth sitting he will appear so that he doesn't lose. And then he will go away and come back. In the 11th parliament, Mgwen MP Alex Koskeng is alleged to have skipped a record 60 sittings. He may have managed to convince the Committee of Privileges on why he was missing in action. He didn't lose his seat. But with the current political scenario, things may be different for NASA. You know people have gotten around it. But uh, they have gotten around it because... Nobody really was bothered about it. But if Jubilee is in control and knowing Muturi being who he is, and you are from NASA and you missed eight, he'll, he'll show you the door. MPs are currently using the analog system to record their attendance with the biometric system undergoing an overhaul. And for MPs to start attending sessions, it may not just be about the sittings. They have not processed car loans, mortgage, the new ones, they have not done medical. Some of them are still doing medical. You need to get an advance from parliament. There's so much going against them that all these MPs will troop to parliament. MPs will on Monday go on a one-week induction program, meaning less worries on attendance issues for NASA MPs. But with the Jubilee side keeping a keen eye on the absenteeism trends of their rivals, NASA MPs may be forced to start engaging in house business sooner if they are to retain their title honorable.